Hi, this is Rochelle with Scrap Craftastic, and I'm going to do my spring break haul. I'm going to start with Michael's. I used a Joanne coupon for this, and these are my first metal discs from the Happy Planner. These are the first ones that I've ever purchased. I don't have a planner with them on them. These are the classic size, and they are, I must say, very nice and they're a lot more gold than the plastic discs. I just got these for a small notebook but I do need the expansion discs so I just wanted to share those. Then they also had the sticker books on sale or buy two get one free so I picked up the recollection stickers that I had my eye on. Um, I picked up three books. These the stickers in this book are very much like one of the paper pads that they have. I think it was like a Paris theme, but you know, I love the Paris themed items, so I picked this one up. This was the first one that I saw, and I just really liked it. So, I don't like really bright colors. That was another reason why I got this one. It's more pastel, light colors so anyway and then I got this one and it's rose and a floral base which I love florals so it's got lots of flor florals this would have been great for um, March for St. Patrick's Day this one has a lot of boxes this is what it looks like and again it's just a lot of floral elements and boxes it's a nice variety I really wouldn't mind having two of this one and I'm if they go on a deeper sale I may grab another one really both of these I could have duplicates of because they, they, they have a lot of decor pieces and sometimes on my spreads I like to just put a little decor then this last one is the least of my favorites because I'm I don't drink alcohol I don't drink beer or wine but they I do drink coffee and tea so I'll probably just give away like this page <laughs> Cause it doesn't apply and I don't know I guess I'm too literal so I don't want to put anything in my planner that I don't actually do even though the stickers are cute if that makes any sense it would just bug me so but I consider this one is the one that I got for free it's the least favorite but it is still very cute probably should have just got a duplicate huh mm. plus it had then a nice light color scheme so pick that up so I got those three sticker books then we went to Tuesday morning and I found this die that does pop-up cards it's kind of like what you see here in the corner it was $5.99. They said the retail price is $19.99. And this is just examples of what you can do with it. So I will be putting this to the test. I'm sure it works. I've seen other people haul it and use it. So, And then I also picked up this envelope die. And the box was already open. My son was like, are you sure? Did you know the box was open? But I picked this one up because I have this interest in envelopes lately. Um, even though I've made my own Silhouette Studio cut files that I will probably be sharing on my website soon. I still want a die that I can just quickly make an envelope. And I... I just really like that and I thought it was a good deal $12.99 regular price is $29.99 so I mean that's fairly expensive for me but it is a die so 
Then I also made a trip to the Super Walmart and had a hard time finding their craft section at first. But when I found it, I was really impressed. It was like three to four aisles of craft supplies. And it was really nice compared to what the Walmart that I go to, well, any of the Walmarts that I've gone to at home um, have. They had they had a lot. It was a really nice craft section. So I was able to find the Creative You stamp set. This is a stamp set for the planner or stationery line that Walmart has. And I recognize the, the main font that they use here. I use it a lot. I really like it. And I, you know, I like my days of the week items. I don't know. It's just a thing <laughs> that I seem to be collecting a lot of. And I picked up a new tape runner. And just these are the refills. I've already used a tape runner. So then we went to Hobby Lobby. And I finally broke down and got this pencil pouch that I have been looking at and saying, I don't need another pouch. I don't need another pouch. But I went ahead and got this one. I think I used a 40% off coupon or either it was already on sale. I found that a lot of their items were still on clearance at this particular store. So I picked up a few things. I've got this floral type embellishment. It's fabric though. And I can use this as an embellishment for the front of a TN. Like for instance, this, it would go on the front on the elastic. So I picked that up. This was only 50 cents. I picked up this elastic lace and it was 50 cents. I'm um, not sure. It's elastic trim, two yards. So, I mean, 50 cents. Oh, I picked up two of those. I picked up quite a few bows. They were on clearance for 25 cents. I got these with the teal or mint green and gray. Got two of those. I got three of the black ones. And I'm going to make embellishments and maybe a few small planner clips with these. They were also 25 cents each. And I got three of the fuchsia or hot pink bows and a and they were also 25 cents each. So you get three bows in each one of those packs. I thought that was a really good deal. And I found these in the um, hair section where they have the hair bows and hair elastics. I found all of these items in that section. And then this one brass template for $1.25 on clearance says hello thinking of you and thank you. This can be used for mixed media. Um, you can use it to emboss. And I don't burn, but you could use it for burning too. So, and it's a stencil, so you could just, you know, trace it. But because it's metal, it holds up and lasts. I also visited the Dollar Tree. I did pick up these Velcro fastener dots just to have in my stash. And I also found these stickers succulent stickers and they are dimensional some of them well actually all of them have a dimensional aspect these are really cute I'm sure you've seen these hauled on YouTube and I picked up some of the dimensional floral stickers I got this one I really love the container on this one the containers I picked up this one And I picked up this one. Okay, so now I have a, another quick Dollar Tree haul. I picked up these butterfly embellishments. And they have their dimensional with, um, with a gem center. So I got two of those. And I found these gem stickers. I got two pinks. They're little hearts. So I got the two pinks and one clear or silver. 
there's 25 in each I picked up this burlap polka dot ribbon I also got the black polka dot burlap ribbon and like with most of the Dollar Tree stuff it's nine feet of ribbon and I picked up some of the washi tape the thin washies that they have I'm not crazy about all that they have in here but I kinda like the gold and the whites and the glitter this yellow green and pink and the blue I'm not so crazy about but for a dollar you get options and if you can see there you can see how much is on each row so I got that one I got this one again for the glitter tape and the gold and white and the blue and white polka dots is not so bad either and I think this one could work for um, the 4th of July Memorial Day Veterans Day things like that and the be happy I mean it's not my style but at least it's the whole word spelled out they did have a pack I think it says something about dream but they've abbreviated dream I was, okay that was weird and then this one because it's lighter colors basically it says make it happen and blank days left on this white one so I guess you can use it kind of like a countdown washi and then this one this one was the one that caught my eye first in the in the collection that I like the best because it has the gold confetti and I thought that was pretty nice so hopefully those will stick well and that's all I got from Dollar Tree I also went to Hobby Lobby because I, I got a request to show how to use the holographic papers that you see everyone printing on it's a self-adhesive paper so I went and picked up several sheets since all the um, paper was on sale so let me just I got a few sheets of the white holographic paper and you can see how that looks in the light I hope that's showing up then I got I think they call this the diamond holographic I just got one of those just to test it out and then I got the one that everyone's been using and it's this one so I got those that was all I got from Hobby Lobby then I went to Joanne pretty much everything in the craft section at Joanne was on sale plus they had the two 50% off coupons so I picked up these stickers these foil stickers from um, the Miss Sparkle and Co section I got two of them and they have three sheets included so you got the silver the rose gold and the gold and you can actually use these as labels in your planner with like this week monthly weekly daily top priority task important so these would make great tabs and then you do have some that you could use for other sentiments but I thought that was pretty cool that you get all three colors in one pack so I got two of those I got another set of the washi from me and my big ideas the extremely thin washi this is what it looks like so it's lighter colors it's not you know all one tone of color it's a variety so I picked that one up so that's it for my spring break haul if you have any questions or comments please leave them below thanks for watching and I'll talk to you later bye